What up, everybody? It's iPadBeatMaking.com, and today I'm just hitting you with some updates on these Black Friday sales. Since our lovely developers don't believe in all having discounts and announcements on the same day, we are dealing with some starting very early, some starting kind of early, and then some that might start day of, and then some that might skip it entirely, and then some that might only do Cyber Monday, etc., etc. We're at the mercy of when the developers make their announcements. So yes, we're gonna have to spread these sales across different episodes, obviously. But shout out to one person who stated, does anyone else feel like iPad beat making has his work cut out for him this week for his weekly video? You guess it. Huh. You was right. Yes, you are right. My work is definitely cut out for me. However, with all that said, challenge accepted, we're going to continue to make videos to reflect the Black Friday sales so that everyone is fully in the know and you are able to take advantage of these great sales. With all that being said, if you enjoy this video and videos like this from iPad beat making, please be sure to hit the like button and also make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any of the latest news, tips, tricks, updates, sales and more let's get started on this updated black friday list if you haven't already make sure you go back and watch the november 22nd episode of the ios news so that you could catch the first wave of the sales included in that i believe were korg and a few other developers the korg one really sticks with me because all of their apps are 50 percent off and their in-app purchases are 50 percent off which is lovely for the korg module pro app Definitely, if you have any interest in that, take advantage of it. I'm of the opinion that they are among the best sounding instruments on iOS. They sound so rich and lush. I really recommend you grab all the in-app purchases you can while they're on sale. They are not cheap. We made the mistake of only grabbing a couple when the Core Module Pro AEV3 was announced. We weren't quite clear on what that sale really entailed. We didn't know what the original prices on things were. And then one day there was the rude awakening that those 10s became 20s and those 20s became 30s. And it was like, okay, as soon as that Black Friday sale comes along, no more messing around. I already had the money set aside for it. But anyways, yes, the Korg sale and the first wave of apps to go on sale for Black Friday were announced on the November 22nd episode that was a special Sunday episode. However, in our second wave of iOS apps that have gone on sale, we first of all got Yuri Turoff with, how do you say this, Exthesizer or is it just Synthesizer with an X instead of an S? I don't know. Anyways, that app is usually $6.99, it's down to $2.99. Next, we've got Shum Synthesizer. It's usually $8.99. It's down to $3.99. Then we've got Velvet Machine, which is usually $7.99, down to $4.99. And then we've got Brand Boss, who's got the Moanoki app. I hope I'm saying that right. Monanoki, Mononoki. Yeah, usually it's $8.99. It's down to $4.99. Ripple Maker, which is also usually $8.99, is also down to $4.99. Ruiz Maker Noir is usually $9.99, it's down to $4.99. Mosaic Plugin Workshop is usually $7.99, it's down to $2.99. And Woot, or W-O-O-T-T, -T, is usually $3.99 and it's down to $2.99. Scatterbrain Audio Splitter is usually $3.99 and it's down to $2.99. And Phase Maker is usually $7.99 and that's down to $3.99. Ape Soft, you've got IVCS3, which is usually $14.99, and it's currently $7.99. You've got Mood, which is usually $10.99, down to $4.99. Ape Matrix, which is usually $11.99, down to $5.99. Sparkle, Cross Synthesis, which is usually $7.99, down to $3.99. Identity, which is also usually $7.99, down to $3.99. I Red, which is usually $7.99, down to $3.99. 8 Filter, which is usually $5.99, is down to $2.99. Stria, which is usually $7.99, is down to $3.99. Electric Vintage, which I just tried out and actually is really nice, is down to $3.99 from $8.99. Definitely recommend trying that out. Ape Delay, which is originally $5.99, is down to $2.99. 
accordion vintage which is usually $8.99 is down at $3.99 we just grabbed this one also we really like it it's pretty cool I haven't heard many accordions on iOS so it was kind of unique to be able to have that if you know of any other accordion apps please leave that in the comment section I think this is the only one that we really ran across and it's a pretty good app so be sure to check those out to summarize the Apesoft stuff it's pretty much 50% off across the board give or take a percentage here or there next up we've got Steinberg who is continuing to push the line of what's possible on iOS with a DAW with its Cubasis app and Cubasis 3 is usually $49.99 and it's down to $23.99 and for those of you who are wanting to have Cubasis 2 you can have it now for $11.99 down from the price of $23.99 however unless there is a very specific reason why you want Cubasis 2 that you can't get in Cubasis 3 I would really recommend everyone gets Cubasis 3 if a DAW is a part of your workflow at all there's something about Cubasis 3 it's just a little bit better for mixing because you can group the tracks I would go in on Cubasis 3 if I didn't have it already knowing what I know about it now really lovely app and never one to miss out on the iOS action we've got audio kit who has their audio kit FM player 2 DX synth which was 199 down to 99 cents audio kit digital d1 synth which was 499 down to 399 their limited edition apps which were just made available and then just made unavailable not too long ago are now back available from the price of 99 dollars 399 for the base 808 synth definitely jump on that the limited edition 2 app which is the audio kit retro piano which was also $99.99 is down to $3.99 and audio tune is currently $3.99 also down from the $99.99 so be sure to grab those while you have the opportunity now Olympia Noise also has big sales going on right now. They've got Patterning 2, Drum Machine down from $20 to $14.99. Ribbons, Touch Instrument from $3.99 down to $2.99. Dot Melody down from $3.99 to $1.99. And Accordion, Musical Instrument and MIDI Controller down from $4.99 to $3.99. And I know a lot of people were hoping for a Sugar Bites Drum Computer Black Friday sale that doesn't really seem likely to happen it could but if this is any indication it's telling me that sugar bites is essentially saying we're not gonna punish early adopters who got it day one to pay a more expensive price than people who get it a couple weeks later on a Black Friday sale maybe it will but currently that's not the case now their app thesis which is usually $15 is on sale for $8.99 Effectrix, which is usually $7.99, is currently $10.99. Tornado, which is usually $19.99, is currently $11.99. Cyclop for iPad is currently $13.99, down from the normal price of $24.99. Egoist, which is usually $30, is currently $17.99. Unique for iPhone, which is usually $4.99, is down to $1.99. While filter box, which is usually $14.99, is down to $7.99. Unique for iPad, analog synth, which is usually $14.99, is also down to $7.99. So, if you have been on the fence about Sugar Bites, wanting to dip your toes in some of their apps but couldn't afford it, or you just thought they were too expensive, or had some other reason why you didn't, now would be a good time if you've been interested in them because you can get them for huge discounts, a lot of them up to 50% off. So, something to consider. Now, next up we've got Audio Damage. Audio Damage has Quanta Granular Synth, which was $9.99 down to $4.99. EOS 2, which was $6.99, is down to $2.99. Replicant 2, which was $5.99, is down to $2.99. Continua was $9.99, and it's currently $3.99. Dubstation 2, which was $5.99, is currently $1.99. Discord 4, which was $6.99, is currently $2.99. Grind Distortion, which was $5.99, is currently $1.99. Pump House, which was $3.99, is currently $0.99. Cents. Axon 2 was $6.99, and it's currently 
filter station 2 was $4.99 and it's currently $1.99. Rat Shack Reverb 3, which was $2.99, is currently $0.99. Cents. Channel Strip was $4.99 and it's currently $0.99. Cents. Quattro Mod, which was $5.99, is down to $1.99. Phosphor 3 was $5.99 and it's down to $1.99. AD Verb 2 was $4.99 and it's down to $1.99. Phase 3, which was also $4.99, is also down to $1.99. Enzo Looper was $5.99, and it's down to $1.99. Next up, we've got Aria Pro, and they've also got some really deep discounts, about 50% off of all of their apps. Aria Music Production is $12.99, down from $24.99. Aria Pro was $49.99 and it's currently $24.99 and Aria LE which was $19.99 is currently $9.99. So iOS users, do you think that Aria is still worth grabbing if you have something like a Cubases? Or is Cubases worth grabbing if you have something like an Aria? If you could only pick one, which one would you pick? And also, is it worth only picking one if you have the other, or is it best to just have them both? If so, why? What would you use each for? I know the usual argument for it is I record a song in Cubasis and I do my stem mixing in Aria. Is that still the case? Or is Cubasis sufficient enough for stem mixing for y'all now? Let us know down in the comment section. We really want to know what you think about this. But nonetheless, that is an incredible sale on their behalf. It's good to see Aria alive and well. And a lot of people feel like Aria is kind of old and they just had an update so you know one could argue that they're alive and well there might be an older design you know but if it's not broke why fix it you know the design might be working well enough and it's a fairly stable app at this point i'm sure so yeah the last update for the app was four weeks ago so very much alive and well and it was a pretty substantial bug fix kind of update not too much with the cosmetic but bug fixes which is good to see the developer still motivated to fix those issues that had occurred for its user base and next up we have gospel musicians or you can find them in the app store as Mediculous. they've got pure synth platinum which was $19.99 down to $9.99 they've got neo soul key studio which was $19.99 down to $6.99 and i'd recommend grabbing version 2 of that you can grab version 1 if you don't need aev3 but if you need aev3 Grab version 2. They've got IFX Rack, which was $9.99 down to $3.99. They've got FM Times, which was $14.99 down to $5.99. They've got Impulsation, which was $12.99 down to $4.99. Basilicious 2, which was $14.99 down to $6.99. And Neo Soul Key Studio 2, $24.99 and is currently $9.99. These apps are incredible. They're all worth grabbing. And one of my favorite things about them other than how they sound is actually the fact that you can load them on an external drive. We use the SanDisk Extreme SSD one terabyte, I wanna say. And that's on sale too, by the way. I think it's usually $140. You can find those right now for $120. So be sure to look into those if you want that SSD. I know some people try to find it at a discount and it's kind of hard to find a lot of times on a discount, but right now you can get it for one. You can load all your sounds onto that SSD SSD so that it doesn't take any of your iPhone or iPad storage, which is really cool. Just run them off of that, just like you would on a computer. First app to do that, I want to say, and maybe still the only one, but I wish more app makers would adopt this. Like, I wish I could offload all those Korg samples onto an SSD. Anyways, I'm rambling. Let's move on. Eventide. Micro Pitch was $9.99. It's down to $6.99. Mangled Verb was $14.99. It's down to $9.99. Qvox was $14.99. It's down to $9.99. Crush Station, which was $14.99, is down to $9.99. Shimmer Verb, which was $14.99, also is down to $9.99. Spring Verb, which was also $14.99, is down to $9.99. Undulator was $7.99, it's down to $4.99. Tricera Course was $14.99, it's down to $9.99. Black Hole Reverb was $19.99, and it's down to $14.99. Ultra Tap Delay was $14.99, and it's down to $9.99. Rotary Mod was $7.99, and it's down to $4.99. Crystal's Harmonizer was $14.99, and it's down to $9.99. 
Now the event tie plugins are super lovely. If you can ever get them on a sale, it's always a great buy. So definitely something to look into if you're interested. And the next set of apps is by OG Sus or OG SUS. I don't know how they pronounce their name, but there it is. They've got Elastic Drums, which was $9.99 down to $4.99, and Elastic Effects, which was $9.99 down to $4.99. And then we've got Skid by Steven Bolch, which was $5.99 down to $2.99. And while we're doing this, let's go ahead and mention the Senso Morph, which is currently $50 off if you get any of the bundles. And you can buy one overlay and get the second overlay half off. So if you've been in the market, kind of eyeballing a sense of morph, now would definitely be the time to grab one. We use one for all kinds of stuff. It goes with us on the road everywhere. Once you integrate it into your workflow properly, it's definitely a very useful piece of kit. It's got so many different ways that you could go ahead and incorporate it into how it is you like to work. And as always, you, you can check the video review that we did for it out here. But with that said, we're gonna get up out of here. That's more than enough for y'all to get started on emptying out your wallets. And if you see any more sales, be sure to let us know down in the comment section, or you can email us at ipadbmaking at gmail.com. We hope you enjoyed this video, this quick Black Friday update that was supposed to be quick, but actually didn't end up being as quick as we had hoped it would be. But if you did, please hit the like button. And if you aren't currently subscribed, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on the latest news, tips, tricks, sales, updates, so on, so on, and so on. And be sure to check out some of the best sound kits available for iOS at iPadBeatMaking.com. It's iPadBeatMaking.com. Peace.